this video will show you about the anatomy practical for the male and the female reproductive system so at the end of the session you will be able to uh, describe the histological structures of the testis epididymis vas deferens prostate seminal vesicle and the penis and also describe the histological structure of the ovary vagina fallopian tube and the uterus also the histology of the breast and the placenta so the testis the entire section of the testis which also includes a part of the epididymis over here you can see that it's covered outside by the tunica albuginea the outer layer is tunica vaginalis and uh, towards the middle you can see the uh, mediastinum with rete testis all these are the different lobules with the uh, uh, seminiferous tubules inside you can see the cavity of the tunica vaginalis so you have tunica the two layers of the tunica tunica parietalis and tunica uh, uh, visceral layer and the visceral layer of the uh, tunica and the parietal layer of the tunica uh, to, uh, this is tunica albuginea this is uh, convoluted seminiferous tubules you can see the seminiferous epithelium here in between the uh, seminiferous epithelium or tubules you can see the interstitial tissue which has cells of Leydig which secretes testosterone so you can see that these are cells of Leydig with uh, uh, rounded cells uh, which secrete testosterone this is um, smooth muscle these are pale cells which are Sertoli cells within the seminiferous tubules and here you can see the different stages of the um, uh, sperm formation so uh, you have the um, spermatogonia towards the base then you have primary spermatocyte the size is large then you have secondary at this level the secondary then the spermatid okay and then with the tail if you see with the sperms so here you can again see that here the pale cells are the sertoli cells spermatogonium the primary spermatocyte secondary the spermatid okay and the sperms towards the center this is epidymis in which you can see sperms in the lumen the epithelium of the epidymis is pseudo stratified columnar epithelium with sterocilia okay so you can see this uh, cilia over here this is called sterocilia pseudo stratified columnar epithelium again you can see pseudo stratified columnar epithelium it's actually one layer but it looks stratified to our eyes and you can see the uh, sterocilia and this is the this is the sperms in the uh, in the lumen okay another uh, slide to show you the epidymis okay uh, it's a different stain van Giesen stain uh, you can again see the uh, pseudo stratified uh, uh, epithelium with sterocilia and um, the uh, the cells are uh, made up of principal cells the columnar cells and the basal cells coming to vas deferens okay it has mucosa then you have uh, the muscle layer in which the inner and the outer are longitudinal layer the middle is circular layer and the outermost is adventitia so again um, the epithelium is made up of uh, pseudo stratified columnar epithelium which has the same the uh, principal cells and the basal cells principal cells and the basal cells with sterocilia so you can see the lumen how the lumen is it's a high focus uh, uh, section again uh, vast difference the mucosa so it's pseudo stratified uh, columnar epithelium with sterocilia the muscle layer there is three layers of muscle uh, inner and outer longitudinal middle circular the outermost is adventitia coming to prostate the prostate is made up of uh, fibromuscular stroma okay glandular stroma and inside the prostate you can see these uh, these uh, concretions these are called as uh, corpora amelasia corpora amelasia is seen in the prostate so uh, in some slides you can also see the prostatic urethra cutting through so if the prostatic urethra is present 
it is lined with transitional epithelium then all this uh, stroma is called as fibromuscular stroma the these white spaces which you are seeing these are the the glands so there are large irregular alveoli of tubular alveolar glands so you can see the, the glands of different uh, you know shapes that's why they are irregular and it's lined with simple columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium so you have the fibromuscular stroma okay separating the glands these are the glands over here the tubular alveolar glands which gives the alkaline secretion okay um, so you can understand this is a, like a flowery kind of pattern this is a normal uh, prostate which you are seeing and if you see concretions within it's called corpora amelasia prostatic concretions seen within the SE9 okay it's called corpora amelasia coming to seminal vesicle it's a highly coiled structure uh, the lumen is lined with pseudostratified columnar epithelium it's composed of short basal cells and low columnar cells so the epithelium is the same like what we saw in uh, uh, in vast difference uh, and so on okay now the penis um, you can see that there are two uh, there are totally three uh, muscular bodies here so this is the corpora cavernosa on two and this is corpora spongiosum with the um, penile urethra okay this opening for the penile urethra now coming to the female reproductive organs you have the ovary so in the ovary you can see the primary uh, follicle with the oocyte and the granulosa cells all these are small ones are the primordial follicle then um, if you see uh, cavities developing within that's a secondary follicle these are all uh, secondary follicle and this uh, slide shows uh, the follicles at different stages so if you see from the uh, the epithe the lining okay it will be the uh, germinal layer with uh, simple cuboidal epithelium this is called as germinal layer with simple cuboidal epithelium then very close to it all these are the small uh, uh, follicles so they are called as primordial follicle little larger one is primary uh, follicle uh, these will be the secondary these will be the secondary follicles this area uh, re represents the cortex which has follicles and this area is the medulla which uh, has blood vessels uh, connective tissue and so on lymphatics the graphene follicle there will be only one graphene follicle in which you can see the oocyte is pushed to the uh, periphery it has uh, corona radiator around it and this this attachment is called uh, cumulus oophorus cumulus oophorus so it has a large antrum next coming to fallopian tube so fallopian tube um, the you should know about the epithelium okay it is uh, it is simple columnar epithelium with cilia okay and it's functional because it helps in moving the um, ovum towards the uh, towards the uterus okay then this is the muscle layer and this is called as serosa because it's covered with peritoneum so uh, uh, if you see the epithelium ciliated simple columnar epithelium uh, you can see the cilia over here okay this is the lumen um, so why we need it to be ciliated because of the function which i just mentioned it will help in movement of the ovum uh, uh, from the uh, like from the infundibulum the ovum is traveling it comes to the ampulla waits there for two days and then it has to move to the posterior uh, uh, wall of the uterus if it is going for implantation there's one more type of cells over here which is called as a pec cells these are supporting cells okay so there are two types of cells in um, fallopian tube one is the um, ciliated uh, cells columnar cells and the other cells are called as non ciliated ones they are called as pec cells and they uh, provide support uh, to these cells okay so you can see it here these are the pec cells and these are the ciliated cells so they both are present in the fallopian tube coming to the endometrium that is related to the uh, uterus so you have uh, three uh, as you know in, in different stages of uh, different stages of the menstrual cycle you have uh, three phases that is the uh, menstrual phase is the menstrual phase in which um, there is shedding of the um, 
uh, of the functional layer of the uh, endometrium then in the proliferative phase the the, the the functional layer is growing okay and in the secretory phase they are very um, uh, the glands are uh, um, dilated uh, filled with the secretion the the blood vessels are uh, uh, spiral they reach to the periphery okay to the superficial layer okay so you can see all the three different uh, uh, types over here you can see more this is the menstrual phase you can see the lumen the degenerating endometrium over here okay all this is uh, so this this belongs to the uh, degenerating endometrium and the phase is the menstrual phase of the uterus okay if any section is asked you should write, talk about the uterus uh, and which phase it belongs to okay so here you can see that this is the lumen over here so this lining will be the simple columnar epithelium this entire thing is the endometrium which can be divided into stratum functionalis uh, the upper two third and the lower one third is the stratum basalis then this is the myometrial layer okay which has a lot of blood vessels in it okay it's also called strat stratum vasculare and then the um, outermost is the uh, perimetrium okay simple squamous epithelium so here we can see the uh, secretory phase you can see the glands are all dilated over here okay so the, it's called the corkscrew appearance of the glands over here here if you see the glands are uh, not as dilated as the secretory phase and the the spiral arteries they just uh, start growing and they do not reach to the uh, superficial layer now coming to the cervix okay the cervical vaginal junction very very important so in the cervix we uh, divide the cervix into two parts we have the ecto cervix and the endo cervix so this part is the endo cervix which is like continuation from the uh, inner lining of the uterus it extends from the from the uh, internal os to the from the internal os to the external os okay so that is the endo cervix uh, the lining epithelium will be columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium and it is similar to the endometrium of the uterus okay as it goes out as it comes to, from the external os towards the uh, fornix of the vagina this one will be the uh, ecto cervix ecto cervix and the epithelium is stratified squamous epithelium and it is very similar to the vagina as you can see here look at this epi this epithelial layer, layer is stratified squamous epithelium stratified squamous epithelium this area is called as the transformation zone which is normal and it, this change occurs here and uh, uh, as you know that in women uh, the, the uh, cervical cancer is very common and uh, the women undergo pap smear and uh, it, they have to take the smear from this area from the transformation zone to see for any changes any metaplasia and uh, for early diagnosis of the uh, cancer okay now coming to vagina there are three layers here so you have the mucosa this is the mucosa then uh, which is lined with stratified squamous epithelium then you have the muscle layer formed with inner circular outer longitudinal and then you have adventitia which is connective tissue so again you can see the uh, stratified squamous epithelium over here now coming to breast so in the breast uh, very important is the tdlu the short form of tdl uh, sorry the, the full form of tdlu is terminal duct lobular unit which is a functional unit of uh, milk production so uh, this this uh, picture demonstrates the histological picture demonstrates the tdlu in which you have a lobule uh, a lobule with um, an intra lobular terminal duct then there is an extra lobular terminal duct so all together forms the tdlu which is the extra lobular terminal duct intra lobular terminal duct the lobule or the SNS which is a functional unit of the breast then also notice in this schematic diagram over here there is a lobule so inside the lobule if you have a duct it's called intra lobular terminal duct if it's outside the lobule it's called extra lobular terminal duct okay together it forms the TDLU it's very important uh, again pathologically uh, if there is any changes over here um, they need to identify in relation to uh, identifying the cancer now coming to placenta so in placenta 
you have the outer lining which is the uh, syncytial trophoblast um, of the villi then inside you have the fetal blood vessels inside so here you can see this is the outer syncytial trophoblast then inside you have the uh, fetal blood vessels so all these are cut sections of different villi and um, inside uh, you can also see the macrophages which are called as Hopwurz, Hoff Bauer's uh, cells. These are the macrophages within the uh, inside the um, villi. And then um, uh, uh, between the villi, you can see the intervillous space. The space in between is called intervillous space over here. It has maternal blood cells. It has maternal blood cells over here. Okay. So you need to know outside it is a syncytial cytotrophoblast. In then the blood vessels are the fetal blood vessels, and between the villi you have maternal blood cells so by this we have completed um, all the histological uh, slides for the male and the female uh, reproductive organs uh, all the best for your exam please study uh, the histology well thank you all